Hey guys, it's Liz of Consumed by Books, and I have two weeks worth of IMM to show you, so let's get started. I got a couple books for review. The first is Cat Incorrigible, which is by Stephanie Burgess, which is due out in April of 2011. And this looks like a really adorable and fun read, so I can't wait to pick it up and check it out. Got it from Shelf Awareness, I believe. Um, I did get a few books from Star Book Tours. I got a copy of The False Princess by Isla O'Neill, which I already had to send on. Um, but look for a review of that on Tuesday. And I also got a copy of These, Thing, These Things Hidden, which is by Heather Gudenkoff. And I'm reading this right now, about 200 pages in. It's pretty good. Um, I'm not sure if it's quite what I'm in the mood for, but it's not terrible. Not great, you know. It comes out in March, I believe, so look for a review of it then. And next is the pile of books that I bought over the past two weeks. I'm going to preface this by saying that I'm going on a book ban, book buying ban in February. Um, I'll buy The Iron Queen, maybe Demon, Demon Glass and Desires of the Dead if I get to Hex Hall or in The Body Finder. Um, I know Kimberly Durding is coming to me as part of the Dark Day Days tour stop along with Courtney Allison Moulton in late March, so I'm going to try and read her book before then. But yes, book buying ban apart from a couple sequels. Anyways, but before we get into that sad, dark period, let's talk about what I have right now to show you guys. First up, Ballads of Suburbia, which is by Stephanie Keener. I've heard a lot of people say how fantastic this book is, so I can't wait to check it out for myself. And I stuck my book plate in there. Yay! Makes me happy. Next up, we have Beastly, which is by Alex Flynn. And look, the book tells me to read it before you see it. Um, I Actually, the previews for the movie were what convinced me to buy this book because the movie looks really good. And I like to read the book before I see the movie, so hopefully I can read the book, review it, and then do an adaptation corner post. Um, I've read one of other Alex's other books, Cloaked, which I thought was, you know, it was good. It wasn't great. Um, so I'm excited to check this one out and see more of her work. Next, we have Not That Kind of Girl by Simone Vivian. Um, this one sounds a little bit like The Duff by Cody Keplinger to me, but I've been seeing a lot of really great reviews of this one, so I'm excited to check it out and read it for myself. This one, um, The Evolution of California Tate by Jacqueline Kelly. I've had my eye on for quite a while, actually, since it came out. Um, and I wasn't really sure, but Misty, a book rat, did a teaser for this and posted a review, and she really loved it. So I decided to go ahead and get myself a copy. Also, do you love this cover? Because I love this cover. I think it's fantastic. Like, it's both beautiful and adorable, and it's just great, you know? It's a good cover. The Lover's Dictionary by David Levithan. Um, I've read some of his other work. I read Boy Meets Boy and Dash and Lily's Book of Dears, which he did with Rachel Kahn. And I've really enjoyed both of those, so I'm very excited to read this one and see how it is. Also have Will Grayson, Will Grayson on my TBR pile. Next up, Oryx and Crake, which is, which is by Margaret Atwood. One of my top ten books to read in 2011. Um, I read The Handmaid's Tale in high school, and I actually want to reread it soon just because... Um, but I'm excited to have more Atwood in my life, because I enjoyed The Handmaid's Tale. I might have already said that, but oh well. Next up, we have The We Free Men, The Beginning, by Terry Pratchett, containing the books The We Free Men and A Hat Full of Sky. I have two other Pratchett books on my shelf, Guards, Guards, and Weird Sisters, so I need to actually get to the Pratchett books that I have, so yell at me to do that, please. I have Falling in Love with English Boys by Melissa Jensen. For those of you who don't know, I'm planning on having a Hot British Men Week on my blog, which I think is, I'm just going to shorten down to Hot Brits so everyone can be involved. Um, kind of a week to celebrate period pieces and whatnot, but I want to mix some YA stuff in there too. Um, so I decided to get a copy of this and hopefully I'll read and review it for that. Um, also, I have some giveaways planned for that week, so keep an eye out for those because I think you guys are really going to like it. Next, Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. I have not read this one yet. I don't have any copies of this, but I have Broadview editions of every other book of Austen's except for Emma, so I wanted to get this, and I hope to read it for Jane and June. Speaking of Jane and June, there's a giveaway for Prom and Prejudice on the blog now. It's by Elizabeth Yulberg. Two copies. You should enter. See the right sidebar. 
Okay, um, next up I have A Tale of Two Cities and Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. I haven't read A Tale of Two Cities, so that'll be exciting. Um, one thing, this is a really pretty edition, except I just kind of wish that Oprah thing would just go away. Now that I have anything against Oprah, I just don't want her on my book covers. Sorry, Oprah. Not trying to be mean. Um, today I went to a signing for Pete Houtman, who has written several books. Um, and I decided to buy two of his books while I was do there. The sorry. Um, I won't be doing an event write-up, but I got Blank Confession. And he signed it, and he drew this picture of a person under an interrogation lamp, and it says, I'm innocent! It was Liz! Which I think is really funny. And I got a copy of The Big Crunch, which he also signed. He said, For Liz, a book about breakfast cereals and candy bars. Um, this, this one's got kind of a cool cover. My one problem is that this square reminds me that it's winter, which I don't need a reminder of because it's already, like, in the single digits in terms of degrees, but that's okay. It's one little square of cover, and winter will pass, maybe, hopefully. At least in my dreams it will. Um, I have Unearthly by Cynthia Han. I actually wasn't really interested in this when I first started seeing it around. I was like, mm, doesn't look like anything special. But everyone's been saying how good it is and how much better than all the other angel books it is. Um, so I decided to check it out and go for it. So hopefully I like it. If any, if nothing else, it's got a really, it's a really gorgeous finished copy um, with like the silver and the feather on the back. So yeah, excited to check that one out. Okay. Um, so the next three books I got, I have Across the Universe in there, um, but. Beth Revis had been saying on her blog that she would be going on tour, and I heard that she would be near me. Um, and then, when she posted all of the information, she said that she was actually going to be part of the Breathless book tour for Penguin, which is um, Andrea Kremer, Ali Condi, Renny Yovanov, Kirsten Miller, and Beth, um, and maybe Catherine Fisher, I'm not really sure. Um, but I got some books to get ready for the Breathless Books tour signing, because there's going to be one, like, an hour from me in Minnetonka at like the Hennep Hennepin County Library. Um, but anyways, yeah, I wanted to get books in advance so that I would definitely have them. I already called and made sure that, you know, I could bring my own books. I know, I may be going overboard in the planning, what can I say? I'm really okay, so I got my own copy of The Replacement, which is by Brenny Yovanov, finally. I'm really excited about this because I loved this book. I thought it was fantastic. Um, so I'm so excited to meet the author and get it signed. I was like, I have to have the replacement. I will not go to the signing and have them run out of copies. So I was particularly, you know, had to get that one. Next up, we have The Eternal Ones by Chris Kristen Miller. I have an arc of this, but I decided to get the pretty finished copy. And I'm hoping to read it before the signing. And next up, we have Across the Universe by Beth Revis. I was so excited when this one came, and it came a day early, and it made me so happy. Um, I love this cover. I am seriously in love with it. It's gorgeous. I will absolutely be reading this before the Breathless Books Tour is signing. I don't know when I'm going to fit it in, but I don't care because I'm going to make it work. Um, and I stuck my book plate from Beth in there. That's pretty cool. And, okay, if you guys haven't already checked this out, this book jacket is reversible. I still like the other one better, but I think it's awesome that it's reversible. And now I can, you know, look at a map of the spaceship anytime I want when I'm reading my book. And I think that that is extremely cool. So I'm excited about that. Okay, I'm going to fight with this for a minute. Lastly, I have The Annotated Hobbit, which is by J.R.R. Tolkien. I have been seeing this book in Barnes & Noble since I was a little tiny child. Okay, maybe not tiny, but you know, like 10 years old. Um, and every time I've admired it and how pretty it is, and I've lusted after it, so I finally went for it and got a copy, and it has pretty illustrations in it. I'm trying to find one for you guys. Bear with me. See? Pretty illustrations! But yeah, I love The Hobbit. I think I might actually like it better than Lord of the Rings. So I'm super excited to own this lovely edition of it. Okay, so that is everything that I got in my mailbox the past two weeks. Not looking forward to my book buying ban, but I think it has to happen. Need to read more of the books that I own. Um, but I want to hear about what you guys got in your mailboxes, so be sure to leave me a link or something down below, and I will catch you all later. Happy reading, and stay warm.